Hi, everybody. I'm Tim. I'm coming to you from the fabrication station here at Cleveland Power Performance in the fabrication department. Where are we? The fabrication station here. Oh, that's it. Cleveland Power Performance. And boy, do we have some exciting project content for you, folks. We have a 1971 Volkswagen Beetle, and we're going to turn it into a cooler. And let me tell you a little bit about how we're going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to kerchop that there and then somewhere over there as well and you're going to have the whole front end of a beetle we do have a hood somewhere but it fell off the car i think was told and uh, that was all i know about that uh, we're going to make all kind of cool shelving and other cooler related activities here in this area here for all kind of bottle openers and other beverage related bottle opening utensils and up here we're going to have a shelf to put um, your beer to keep it cold and there's the hood we are also going to retain the headlights and maybe also those lights and move the controls from over there to inside the gas door. So you could open this and go boop, 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 and then it'll light up and it'll, you could like flash the lights. If you're out of beer, you go just send the send Morse code up through the headlights over to your buddy across the man cave and say, give me a nice German Heffenweiser for my Volkswagen cooler. So we're going to start the project here by cutting it. And I'm, I just want to look around the car and show you, it's a whole car. It's a little burnt, it's a little rusty, but perfect for a cooler. So we're gonna chop it up and get to work here at Cleveland Pond Performance. Bam, and would you look at that? What we have here, folks, is a one-of-a-kind, custom-cut, and framed-in Volkswagen cooler. As you saw, we cut everything out of it, and we built this frame, and we even added some wheels to give it that full front-end cooler effect. There is lots more work to do on this thing, including the addition of some very fancy teak wood. As mentioned before, the switches for the headlights are gonna be controlled here behind the gas door. So you can see there's a nice little pocket made to mount the switches. And uh, we still have to wire everything in to get that all working, but lots of progress has been made. And we have all kinds of other parts and bracketries and wood materials to make the inside of this one-of-a-kind Volkswagen cooler. Stay tuned for more updates on this one-of-a-kind cooler and all the other cool projects we have in the shop here at Cleveland Power and Performance.